Today, we're gonna make a ring jump. We have two different rings here. One is thicker than the other. We will cause it to jump though, by putting it onto this coil. When I press the button, a current will be generated in the coil, which will generate a magnetic field. The magnetic field will pass through the ring, which will generate a current in the ring, which will create a magnetic force on the ring, causing it to jump. What I want you to do is make a guess which one of these rings is going to jump higher. Let's jump. So, you clearly saw that the thick ring went higher. Many of you might have guessed that the thick ring would go lower. The reason it doesn't jump as high has to do with resistance. We're going to try this again, but this time I'm going to cool them down using liquid nitrogen. Let's see which one's going to jump higher. Let's jump! Did you see it hit the ceiling? So why did the thinner ring jump higher this time? The difference is temperature. When we decrease the temperature of both rings, the resistance of both rings effectively became the same. Thus, the force on the larger ring wasn't enough to cause it to jump as high due to its larger mass. May the force be with you and with physics always.